chapter 11. I come to you today, I believe. The Lord put it on my heart to preach to some of you today. Some of you are waiting for a ripe old age before you come to the Lord. We have a limited amount of time before it's time to come to the Lord. Today is the time to come to the Lord. Not tomorrow. We're not promised tomorrow. The reading today will be out of uh, Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 and 7. And the word said, Seek ye the Lord while he can still be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly part. Beloved, there's some of y'all out there today that are waiting for some ripe old age. Uh, I'll do it when I get older. I'll come to the Lord when this happens, or I'll come to the Lord when that happens. We're not promised tomorrow, beloved. Today is the day of salvation. And I ask you all today to listen to this little mini sermon. We're very, very important. The title of this message is Seek the Lord. We seek the Lord. No matter what. I know there's some of you out there that are on, on drugs or alcohol seeking a temporary fix to a, to a solution that only calls for God. Some of you out there desperately crying out for the love of your Creator. My beloved, God has not been anywhere. God is still where he was when you left him. I ask you all in the name of Jesus, come to the Lord today. You don't need the alcohol. You don't need the drug. You need God. You need God and all of y'all. And this is a desperate cry from a pastor to the people. Some of you are lost and have no clue where you are. Physically, you might know where you are, but spiritually, you have no clue where you are. The problem with that is, beloved, is if you don't know where you are, then how can you possibly know what you need? I'm here to tell you today, beloved, you need Jesus. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Beloved, the word whomsoever, whomsoever believeth in you, means everybody that will, everybody can come to him that will. There is no room for compromise. There is no room for the waiting game. God is calling you now. He's calling you out there. All of you on Facebook, all of you on YouTube, all of you that hear this, I desperately call you today. Come to the Lord. Come to Him today while He can still be found. Because there is a time, beloved, when He will not be able to be found. He turns His back on the wickedness of the world. Don't be a member of that. classification 
Verse 7 says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thought, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon you. There's nothing that you've done that he will not forgive. There's only one unforgivable sin. And if you're watching this, you have not committed it yet. Bless me of the Holy Ghost. It's not forgiven in this world or the day. But I, I strongly suggest you to repent. Repentance is a 180 degree turn from your way to God's way. If you go in your way, you're not going toward God, you're going away from God. 180 degrees in your mind, in your behavior, in everything that you do. This, beloved, I'm definitely calling out to you today. We're running out of time. In Matthew chapter 24, the signs are there. The signs are unmistakable. If you read Matthew chapter 24 and watch the news, you'll see that Jesus is on his way. And I ask you all in the blessed name of Jesus to please eat this one before it's too late. Very soon, millions of people will disappear off the face of the earth. That's because Jesus has come and gotten the elect. Jesus is not coming for a blemishful church. He's not coming for people just out of the blue. He's coming for a righteous church. He's coming for a holy church. He's coming for a, a blemishless church. And only through Jesus Christ can you be blemished. There's nothing you can do on your own to, to, to accomplish this. There's a lot of good people that, re, that rejected Jesus, but they were good people, and they rejected Jesus, and they're in hell today. Hell. H-E-L-L. Not heaven. Hell. Because they rejected Jesus. They rejected his words, and they rejected his commandments. We're to obey him. Like it said, if you love me, said Jesus, uh, keep my commandments. He also says in another place, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? Holiness is the key. Holiness. And only through holiness uh, can you obtain. Only through Jesus Christ. No other way. You're, you by yourself is unholy. You by yourself is a local play. You by yourself cannot do this on your own. It takes Jesus uh, and what he did at Calvary. I ask you, beloved, to heed to this morning today. I have family and friends out there that have completely rejected Jesus and have went their own way. But I cannot push Jesus upon them because it is unbiblical. They have to come to the knowledge of the Lord through Jesus Christ without me pushing him on them. All I can do is pray. And all of you out there that know Jesus, pray for the Lord. Because time is running out. We're running out of time, beloved. We're running out of time. I ask you all to pray in the name of Jesus for the law. Stand in intercession for the ones that do not know him. I thank you, beloved, all for listening. And I pray that you have a blessed, blessed day. Brothers and sisters, it's all to call time. With every head bowed and every eye closed, by a show of hands, how many does not know the Lord Jesus Christ is your personal Savior? Lord Jesus is calling you today. He wants to save you. 
he wants to bring you to repentance and he wants to bring you and, and make you his. But in order to do that, brothers and sisters, you have to you have to you have to come to him and you have to submit your whole lives to him. But just know that, that this is this is not the end of your salvation. You have to repent from your sins. You have to please the Lord and you have to submit your life to him completely and entirely. Everybody repeat after me. Lord Jesus, we thank you today. And we thank you for loving us enough to die on that old cross for us and raise, raise again on the third day. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and we thank you for hearing us always, Lord. Lord, today, today is the day of salvation is what your word says, Lord. Lord, we come to you today and we submit ourselves to you completely and entirely. We admit that we're sinners and we come to you for strength, Lord. We want you to wash us with your blood today, Lord, and we want you to make us a new creature. We want you to wash us with your blood, Lord. We want, you, we want to be yours. We submit our lives to you. We submit our lives completely and entirely to you. We thank you, Lord, and we love you. We love you, Jesus. Wash us with your blood. And we thank you, Lord, for we know we're sinners. We repent today. We repent, Lord, because we want to please you. Come into our hearts, Lord. Lead us on the path of righteousness. Lead us, Lord. Save us, Lord. We want to live holy, for you say you're holy. We must live holy. Thank you, Lord. If you said that prayer, you're on the path of being saved. In Jesus' name, amen.